Hey folks, how's it going? Well, we've just had Easter break and um, it was a very um, varied one. Um, it was good to see my local team once again beat Torquay United, the champions of the National League South, season 18-19. I couldn't believe we beat them again. Wasn't expecting it once, let alone twice. So that was fantastic and well done to the Mighty Bluebirds. Um, sadly, because of the atrocities of the suicide attacks in Sri Lanka, I found Easter very hard to celebrate and I didn't actually go to church myself. I was really upset. Um, please pray for the people of Sri Lanka and just hope and pray nothing of this magnitude will ever happen again. A vote still alive and part of this awful heinous crime will be brought to justice and fast. Well, on to um, the topic in hand. What is going on with our kids? Why are so many of them becoming feral thugs and yobs? What is going on? What is going on? What is at the heart of this? What is that? What is going on? I don't know. There are a lot of teachers wanting to leave the profession because they're saying it's getting so bad and some of them on a near daily basis get punched, kicked, spat upon, verbally abused. I mean, how has it come to this? How has it got to this level? I don't know. I, I mean, even a seven-year-old was threatening to stab his pregnant school teacher. A seven-year-old boy. What is going on in his home life? What is going on in the four walls where he lives? And children like him. What is going on? These kids are doomed from the start. Oh, it's horrendous. There's so many unfit parents out there. Oh, I just don't know where to begin. It's just very, very sad. Very sad. Right, mothers, fathers. Real mothers, real fathers. Question. Do you want your children to be caught in a spiral? A never-ending spiral of crime prison, drug abuse, and bad health, physical and mental. Do you want that for your children? Because if you don't want that for your children, you better have a radical, radical change of the way you run your home, and the way you run your lives. Get off the booze, get off the drugs, get off the social media like three, four hours a day. Start focusing and putting attention to your kids and invest in them. You brought them into this world. Don't let them go to hell in a handcart. Don't let their lives be absolutely ruined by the time they're even in their teenage years. Real mums, real dads. Doesn't matter if you're impoverished, if you're down to your last buck, you can still be a good parent. There's absolutely no excuse to be a scumbag and there's certainly absolutely no excuse whatsoever to abuse your kids. No excuse on earth can justify it at all kids if you're going through a really bad stage like i say phone up child line there's plenty of support and advice groups out there don't suffer in silence whatever you do do not suffer in silence <sighs> like i said we gotta stop the rot it's all easy to say oh labor did this didn't do that tories did this didn't do that it's a society thing we all, as a society, need to get a grip on this. We need to help our kids to give them a better future. Now, teachers, I know you've got a hard enough job, but if you've got a three or four kids that are playing up constantly, don't just constantly label them bad, bad, bad and leave them out. Get to the root of the problem. Get to the root of why they are acting the way they're acting. What is going on? Why are they acting so differently from the other 2022? 20, you know what I mean? Instead of using the labels of bad, naughty, disruptive, and just leaving it at that, and then they get suspended and expelled, and then, and then they're, they're even more prone to crime and drugs and abuse. We need to break that cycle. You know, it's going to be too late for most of them by the time they're 15, 16. We need to nip it in the bud when they're toddlers. And find out what's going on each and every one. Each and every child. We really need to focus on them. If there's anything out of place. We need to find out why that is happening. Yeah. None of the labels. Come on. 
Oh dear, oh dear. And I'm sorry to say this, but there are teachers that are letting the profession down. A small minority, a very small minority, but they're pretty much bad apples and bullies, and they're just helping the situation become bad. If you wanna, if you really care as a teacher for your kids, if you really care about the profession, and you'll do your utmost. Not just to put the Olivia's and the Toby's and the Philippers on a great big pedestal. Oh, look at them, look at them. It's about everyone. It's a level playing field. You've got to think about the boys from the hard-up council estates. You know, don't leave them behind. Come on. we got to do something. This cycle cannot continue the way it's going. It cannot. And all the 10-year-olds in the year 2019, we don't want them in and out of offender institutions in prison in the year 2029. It's got to be a collective effort. That involves schools, churches, employers, potential employers. We, we need more after-school clubs. And those people that run after-school clubs, football, netball, what have you, you're brilliant. You're great people. You are fantastic. And we need more people like them. The government need more initiatives to help our youth out of school life, away from the cycle and the viciousness of drugs and people who run boxing clubs, you're fantastic too. Anything, a really good outlet, a really good and cheap outlet for these kids so they don't get sucked into violence, crime and drugs. We need to all play our part, folks. We need to play our part. Don't let your kids go downhill and don't watch them decline. And don't allow it to be normalised. Oh, that's a chav council estate. You know, don't just have that mentality. We Everyone can play a part. And let's break this cycle, all of us. Okay, I'll leave it here. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe. Please tell your friends about me. All right, God bless. Bye for now.